What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. UFC from Newark, New Jersey just happened yesterday. It was an early card. Uh, it was originally scheduled for, I believe, Russia, uh, but then they changed it to New Jersey and uh, ESPN didn't want to change the time slot. So it was an early card, which was fine. I ended up watching it uh, after the fact, uh, kind of kept up on Twitter with some of the results. Uh, this one was headlined by Colby Covington versus Robbie Lawler. Uh, I, of course, was rooting for Lawler. Uh, however, I mean, overall, it was a fun card, some fun finishes. Um, I think it's interesting when it comes to Colby Covington, who's like, he's doing this kind of WWE, playing the heel, uh, big MAGA Trump supporter. He had Trump's two sons who are like, when you see them, like there's a shot that the camera had during the, the live broadcast where they're both angled exactly the same way and kind of like they have this, their body shape, is it looks very unhealthy. Like they have these... Their midsections are are like they're they're overly obese thin people. It's it's really weird how like their body shape is, uh, but they're like very exact angle angular pose with the thumbs. It was I don't know. It's just there's something about it that just seems very unhealthy with with that family. But anyway, so Colby Covington, heel Trump supporter, whatever, whatever. Uh, I think it's working for him. I also kind of enjoy, for those that aren't familiar with UFC or MMA and kind of would assume that the majority of MMA fans are like liberal or uh, are conservative or like libertarian, which I'm sure there's a huge section of it, or Trump supporters, a lot of people, especially since Dana White is a supporter of Trump. Uh, but considering that Colby Covington is playing this character and he's considered the heel, he's considered the bad guy for supporting Trump. I think it's it's for me it's comforting knowing that I'm a fan of a support a sport that the other fan the majority of other fans in the sport uh, agree that Trump is a bad person <laughs> and that the the fighter that kind of supports uh, that kind of person is the bad guy. Uh, so it kind of at least gives me uh, hope and uh, joy that, like, despite I'm sure if this was a show that was uh, maybe they if Colby Covington fought in some different state, uh, you know, like Alabama or something like that, some state that's a red state or probably Ohio would be similarly uh, or Texas. You would get, you would have gotten a lot of USA chants, I would imagine. Even though uh, Robbie Lawler's from the USA, uh, there's probably states where Kobe Covington is a hero. Uh, but majority of MMA, I mean, MMA media uh, considers him to be, uh, you know, playing the heel. Obviously, he's playing the heel, right? Uh, but that's only from the perspective of somebody that thinks Trump is is a toxic human being like unfit to be in charge of any other human being ever uh but anyway colby covington put it on robbie lawler just non-stop action robbie wasn't able to get off do anything uh i mean covington his way of gaining popularity and uh riling people up i i don't i don't like it but his ability to fight i mean you got to have respect for it i guess uh, Jim Miller got a, a quick finish against uh, Clay Guida. They both exchanged heavy shots uh, early, and uh, Jim Miller was able to capitalize on his uh, shot on Clay Guida wrapping up a guillotine uh, and finishing it. Um, there was Mershart looked great against Giles. Giles tried to play around with him on the ground, but was eventually choked out. Uh, a lot of controversy against Herbert Dean. Uh, I think that's just a, a perfect storm of, of not it just coincidentally him not being at the right angle at the right time to see the taps or to see that people got choked out. But being choked out isn't like a very like somebody holding a choke for a little bit too long isn't the same as somebody 
you know, continuing to go in round after round after receiving head trauma. Uh, so, like, peop- they wake up and they're fine. They're a little dazed and confused, but there's no, like, brain damage uh, when, it, when it comes to getting choked out. Um, so, I, I don't know. Herbert Dean, in my opinion, is still the gold standard, and everybody makes decisions. Uh, the tiny ref who was in there, badass. There was, a, there was some, in the in Zechiku, uh, Stiokic fight, bunch of bunch of nut kicks and he took points away and i think points like fouls in every other sport are fouls like if there's a rule that if there's a foul then a point's taken away then every time the foul happens there's a point taken away in ufc you can get away with fouling you can get away with grabbing the fence you can get away with kicking somebody in the nuts poking them in the eye fucking kneeing them in the head you can get away with it at least once. You get a warning, and then they start to... Maybe, maybe they start taking points away. Uh, this ref, thankfully, took two points because the guy kept kicking him in the nuts. And it's like, yeah, okay, southpaw versus orthodox. It's a, it's a thing where, you know, you throw a leg kick. It, it, sometimes it glances up and hits the cup. All right, maybe don't throw it then. Like, if you're constantly throwing a technique that causes you to poke somebody in the eye then maybe stop throwing that technique because an eye poke is illegal. So maybe avoid dancing around these illegal strikes and, uh, and make shit happen. Uh, but overall, it was a fun card. Uh, Antonina Chevchenko uh, looked pretty good. She got hit with some elbows in the clinch, but overall she dominated. Uh, doesn't seem to be quite as dominant necessarily as her sister, uh, but still good. Mickey Gall. Uh, was able to get a win, even though he still ended up gassing out after a three-round fight. Three-round fight, still gassed out, striking's looking better, not great, pretty sloppy overall. Uh, but, you know, hopefully, I, and calling out Diego Sanchez, I think he's trying to jump on the fact that Diego's training with, uh, he's not getting training. He's not having proper support in his corner. I think he's trying to take advantage of a, a wounded animal. Uh, and I think that might, I mean, if, if Diego can turn things around in his next fight, I think he'll do the same thing to Mickey Gall. I don't, I don't know if that's a necessarily a good, uh, good game plan. But overall, it was a fun, fun fight. It's disappointed that Robbie Lawler didn't get the win. Um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully... Colby Covington loses to Kamaru Usman in the title fight, uh, which should have happened anyway. Um, but anyway, next week, next Saturday, Valentina Shevchenko is headlining against Liz Carmouche, this time from Uruguay. Uh, so overseas, so a lot of fights I'm not familiar with necessarily. Co-main event, Mike Perry against Vicente Luque. Luque, th- this is a great fight, man. This is a great fight. I would say... Luke probably going to get it. He tends to have better game plans, despite Mike Perry's ability to punch holes in walls. Uh, I, I mean, it could go either way for sure. Uh, but I would say Luke, if if he fights smart, he'll he'll get the win. Um, Ozdemir Latifi, pretty fun. Uh, Tisha Torres is on the prelim card, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so overall, it looks like I'm sure it'll be a fun card. Um, but yeah, those are those are the UFC fights this week. Um, a bummer, a bummer that that Colby lost it. And uh, but it's it's nice to see that the overwhelming uh, hate for somebody who supports Trump uh, that makes me happy. It makes me happy. Uh, so that's it for this episode. New episodes of the Ray Taylor Show come out daily. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my original artwork over at InspiredDisorder.com and save 10% when you use coupon code INSPIRED. Follow me on all social media, at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!